As we work our way out of this recession, one thing that's noticeable is that the boat landscape has changed. Now, companies like Bayliner not only realize this, but they know that they have the ability and the resources to change with it. So in this power profile, we'll see just what I mean as we take a look at the Bayliner 215 deck boat. Part of a lineup overhaul for 2013, the 215 is an all-new model built around Bayliner's extensive market research. They discovered a boater's recreational day boat needs have changed, and this new line reflects that, giving owners the capacity for more. For Bayliner, customization is a big deal. They want their owners to make the boat how they want it. So they basically treat the base boat as a blank canvas and give you plenty of options to add on from there. But they also offer packages. So if you're a water sports enthusiast and you want to take your boat to the next level, I suggest the Flight Series package. You know, with the price of gas constantly going up, Bayliner still wants their owners to use their boat, but they sort of change how they use them. Basically, they want you to spend more time at rest as you do running. So we see this here on the sun pad. It's kind of got this cool little slant to it, but then they take it that step further with these backrests that just slide up. Now you have a really awesome spot to hang out when you're on the hook. Continuing with that theme of giving you features to use while your boat's at rest, Bayliner also wants to make sure they're simple and easy to use. It's a big goal for them. And as we see with this table here, it really doesn't get any easier than that. When you add in the day head and the port console, you have a day boat built for entertaining. My mother loves Rubbermaid containers. It's because they're versatile and modular and easy to use. And that's right up Bayliner's alley. Under the port side seat here, you look, they actually incorporated a standard Rubbermaid tote. You could put flippers, goggles, towels, snacks, anything in here. You fill it up, take it home with you, and bring it back the next day. It's a really cool and easy to use storage solution. Deck boats have been really popular in Florida for a long time, and they've only started to increase in popularity in Canada most recently. And I've sort of wondered, what's taken so long? If you look at the space in the bow on this 215, you could host a party up here. But Bayliner's also done some really cool things. They've got this vinyl grab handle that's really good for safety, but it's multifunctional. It also acts as a handle to open the storage. On the water, Bayliner has a distinct plan for their deck boat series. They found out that their buyers care less about top speed and more about how many people they can bring with them. Normally a sports package includes a 5 liter, but the Mercruiser 4.3 MPI in this 215 proved powerful enough. Test conditions in Sarasota weren't ideal, but it showed the 215's seaworthiness. Bayliner is making a big push on their deck boats, making sure they're known as and boats, meaning fishing and skiing, cruising and wakeboarding. It shouldn't be one or the other. And the 215 is an excellent package for this. It's fun, it's sporty, and it's a deck boat.